Ever wondered how 4 to 20 MA transmitter wiring works? It's a common question, especially among electrical engineers and those new to the field. Now let's start by understanding what 4 to 20 MA transmitter wiring is. In the world of industrial applications, the 420 MA analog signal reigns supreme. It's the go-to method for signal outputs and for good reason. But it's not just about the signal, the way it's wired or transmitted is crucial and there are several ways to do it. You've got your current source transmitter, which is non-isolated and uses three wires. Then there's the current sync transmitter, also non-isolated and with three wires. If isolation is what you need, there's a four-wire option. And let's not forget about the two-wire loop-powered transmitters. Each type has its place and most modern transmitters can switch between sync or source format. But remember, some transmitters are limited to either a sync or source configuration. Ready to dive deeper into each type of wiring and their unique features? Hold on, as we're about to demystify this complex topic. Let's begin with the two-wire transmitter wiring. It's one of the simplest types of transmitter wiring and is commonly used in many industries. The two-wire transmitter wiring system works by powering the transmitter and receiving the signal simultaneously through the same two wires, hence the name. This simplicity makes it a popular choice for many. The main advantage of a two-wire system is that it's cost-effective and easy to install. Also, it requires less wiring than other systems, which simplifies troubleshooting. However, it's crucial to understand that the power supply must be stable and within the transmitter's operating range to ensure accurate and reliable signal transmission. Commonly, you'll find two-wire transmitters in industries like manufacturing and process control, where simplicity and cost-effectiveness are paramount. They are particularly useful in long-distance applications, where power supply and signal wires would otherwise be separate. So, that's the two-wire transmitter wiring, simple yet efficient, but what if we added another wire to the mix? Moving on, we have the three-wire transmitter wiring. As the name suggests, this involves three wires instead of two. But what difference does that extra wire make? The third wire in the three-wire transmitter wiring is a power supply wire that allows the transmitter to operate independently of the load. This brings us to the two types of three-wire transmitters, the current source transmitter and the current sync transmitter. The current source transmitter, as the name implies, is a power source that can supply a constant current. It's typically used in situations where the load fluctuates but a steady current is required. On the other hand, the current sync transmitter is used when the power source is not reliable or when the load is constant but the power supply varies. The choice between the two often comes down to the specific requirements of the control panel design. That extra wire in three-wire transmitter wiring certainly adds some interesting dynamics, doesn't it? Yet there's still another type of wiring that goes even further. Last but not least, we have the four-wire transmitter wiring. This is where things get truly fascinating. Unlike its two-wire and three-wire counterparts, a four-wire transmitter has separate power supply and signal connections. This provides a key advantage. It can handle more complex applications that require additional power. In a four-wire configuration, two wires are used for power supply connections, and the other two are used for signal output. This allows the transmitter to operate independently of the load, enabling it to deliver a consistent signal regardless of load changes. One of the primary reasons why a four-wire transmitter is often chosen is its ability to offer full electrical isolation between the input and output, reducing the risk of interference. However, it is important to note that the choice of transmitter wiring depends largely on the specific needs of the control panel design and the application requirements. With the four-wire transmitter wiring, we reach a new level of complexity and versatility. But remember, each type of wiring has its place. Now that we've explored the different 4 to 20 MA transmitter wiring types, let's summarize what we've learned. The two-wire transmitter, the simplest form, is loop-powered with the power source and receiver combined into one unit. It's popular due to its simplicity and cost-effectiveness. Moving on, we have the three-wire transmitters, which come in two varieties, the current source and the current sink. The source transmitter allows the current to flow from the transmitter to the load, while the sink transmitter allows the current to flow from the load to the transmitter. Lastly, we explored the four-wire transmitter, which is fully isolated and provides separate power supply and signal lines. This makes it ideal for applications where high accuracy and isolation are crucial. 
Remember, the choice of wiring depends on the specific requirements of your application. Some transmitters may be limited to a sync or source configuration, so always check the technical manual for available options. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to 4 to 20 MA transmitter wiring. No matter which wiring you choose, remember, it's all about finding the right fit for your needs.